Okay, Mark, I got a little demonstration video here. I want to send you so that you can see that I have figured out the, what the problem is with uh, you getting your servo speed reducer to work correctly. At least I think I have. Uh, here I've got your uh, R2006GS receiver. I've got this, one of the servo speed reducers you sent me. Uh, I will take the other one out of the package after I get through here and just double check to make sure that uh, they're both working the same way and that you didn't have one that was and one that wasn't working. But I think, if I remember correctly, you said you had tried them both. So I don't anticipate that's what the problem is. I had trouble at first, uh, just like you were, and I, that's why I think I have run it down. This is my new radio for Taba T8J. Before I show you this, I will tell you one thing I have, uh, I have discovered through this little episode that the, <clears throat> the protocols on these new radios uh, is evidently much faster. They're updating the servo much more quickly than they used to, which really doesn't surprise me. Everybody's interested, you know, in in the fastest servos they can get for the uh, 3D planes and the aerobatic stuff and the helicopters and stuff. So I'm not surprised that they've upped their game some. But what that has done is, you know, I kept asking you if that LED was flickering. And what's happened is it's flickering so fast on this receiver that you almost can't, can't even tell that it is. So I'm going to have to go in and change my programming a little bit and put just another microsecond or two of pause in that LED flicker so that you really can tell the difference because there's a significant difference between the way it, it has been up until now. It was not difficult to tell at all that it was flickering, but but it is now. But what I had to do to make a long story short, if you will, if you can see here on my menu, I've had to reduce the endpoints on the gear channel down to 80 percent in order to get it to function correctly and that is because the outputs on these um, new radios is uh, much broader than it used to be we're we're driving these servos through a much greater arc than we used to and these these uh, radios as you can see i'm still getting uh, ninety percent of servo travel out of the arm on this servo i'm I'm using the the switch on the gear channel to do this and uh, you can see here that I'm in channel five so we're we're working like we're supposed to what I'm gonna have to do is consider whether or not to change the programming the the problem I may run into is if I change the programming on my servo speed reducer in order to maybe give you more throw out of the servo on a radio like this it's going to make it maybe less compatible with others so i'm going to have to do some testing and see whether or not it will uh, it will be something i really can do or not but if you think this will be okay if you think you can work with this looking at i'll give you a good view of the servo here and let you see what kind of throw I'm getting this is at 80 percent and that's that's pretty close to 90 degrees of travel out of that servo uh, might even be a little bit more than 90 degrees I guess if I put the arm on it um, at right angles in one extreme we could tell more about it let's see that what it looks like now <clears throat> but yeah that's that's pretty close to 90 degrees. Might be a degree or two off, but um, if you think you can work with that, all you have to do is just reduce the end point on the gear channel, and that, that should take care of it. Um, if you don't think that will work, uh, you can let me know. I'm going to send you an email and give you the link to this video. I'm going to upload this video to YouTube and let you take a look at it. If you don't think this will work for you, then give me a few days to consider the changes in the programming and I may be able to modify the programming so that the servo 
uh, can wind up a little bit more. So I'll get this on the way to you and let you see this and then we'll go from there. Thanks, Mark.